Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, good morning. My name is Sylvia Rahmatulikma. You can call me Sylvia or Sheila. So today we're going to learn about descriptive text. Okay, let's start. Um, before I'm going to the point, the main the main discussion today, the main learning today, the main activity today. I will explain the table of contents that we that is we're going to learn today. The first one is definition. Definition of descriptive text, of course, and then the general structure, and then we go to the features, and then we go to linguistic elements, and the, the last thing is we're going to analyze about descriptive text. The first thing is about definition. The definition about descriptive text is a text that describes a particular object in detail. So, uh, descriptive text is uh, explaining an object or describing an object in detail. Um, and then you can write down the descriptive text in uh, words, in some sentence or some paragraph. Next is the generic structure of descriptive text. The first one, uh, there is two. There is two generic structure of descriptive text. The first one is the identification part. In this part, uh, containing an introduction of the object that you are going to describe or you are already described in the form of a general description of the topic. And then the next is uh, part two. There is a description. In this part contains the special characteristic of, uh, of that thing or the person you are being described. We're going to the next discussion. And then the next is the future. The futures of descriptive text. The first one, the tenses on in or in uh, descriptive text is using the simple present tense because you are describing a people or things. And then the next, to be. Uh, to be that are used in descriptive text are using attribute verbs such as M is R. And then the last one is the focus on the descriptive text is only focused on the on that one object. So if you are describing that one object, you only focus focus on that one object and no more object. Okay. You are focused on describing that project. The next is linguistic elements. There is six linguistic elements on descriptive text. The first one is nouns. The nouns in descriptive text is related to the people, the things or animal that you are being described. And the second is adjective. Adjective in the, in the text or the descriptive text is related to the nature of uh, the things or people or animal that you are being described. The next is a form. This uh, the form that you are used on descriptive text is the first form on the verb or present tense, like the previous things I already explained. The form in the descriptive text you are using is the first form or present tense. The fourth thing is spelling. Spelling and handwriting and printing are clear and neat. So, when you are writing a descriptive text, your spelling, your handwriting, and your printing have to be clear and neat. The, the, uh, and the next is speech. The speech, word pressure, intonation is presenting orally. Uh, the meaning is uh, the same with the, with the fourth linguistic elements. And the last one is you have to you have to use a lot of reference of words while while you are making the descriptive text text description. Okay, the next is uh the example of descriptive text. 
Now I want you guys to guess which part is identification and which part is description. The uh, like like I've already told you, there is two generic structure: the identification and the description. Okay, let's continue. The identification one is the paragraph one. The national monuments until a height of 17 meter. And then the description one is the paragraph, the second paragraph and the third paragraph. Let's continue. This is the other example of description text. The title is my best friend. So in this, this in this text, um, the identification part is the on the on the first sentence until on the first sentence only on the first sentence is the identification part and the rest of them are the description parts. Now you have to make your own descriptive text. You can uh, you can choose. In this, uh, based on these three options, you can describe about people, you can describe about your school, or you can describe about your hobbies or things that you like. You can submit this uh, assignment on the link I dropped below. The next is the, the last exercise. Okay, now uh, let's read the text hi i'm andy davis i'm six years old and i'm from the united states i have got a sister her name is molly i live with molly and my mom in a big house i can ride a bike but i cannot play football very well in my free time i love playing with my toys my favorite toy is an action figure its name is Rudy. i have got other toys too buzz like here mr brother had and I've got a lot of thoughts. The question is, number one, what is the text about? The text about is describing Andy Davis. The second one is, who is Andy's sister name? Andy's sister name is Molly. And then number three, what is Andy's favorite thing? So Andy's favorite thing is his toys. Okay, let's next. Okay, guys. What have we learned today? Right, we learned about descriptive text. And what is descriptive text? Descriptive text is uh, the text that's describing people, things, or animal, or an object. Okay. Uh, one more question. Uh, there is two generic structure of Descriptive text, what are those? Correct, identification and description. Okay, guys, I think um, that's all for me today. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next meeting. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.